Hi, Jenny Stone here from HR Shield with your HR Rescue. Each day we get hundreds of questions from our clients and other small and mid-sized business owners about some of the most common HR issues. We figured if they have those questions, you might too. So let's provide a lifeline and share our answers to some of the most common scenarios. Summer brings not only warmer days, but also some challenging workplace issues, such as time off, social events, and summer dress codes. By addressing these issues, HR can make the workplace more productive and efficient, as well as minimize the risks of employer liability. The following are some key issues an employer should consider. Number one, summer dress codes. A summer dress code is an inexpensive way to improve workplace morale and make employees feel more comfortable when warm weather hits. It is important to communicate the summer dress code policy to all employees and trained supervisors. The employer should focus on the need to look professional and appropriate at all times, which may vary based upon the type of workplace and the amount of interaction employees have with clients, customers, and third parties. In implementing and enforcing any dress code, an employer should avoid policies imposing unequal burdens on men and women or other protected classes. The employer should enforce the policy consistently, follow up on violations, properly document them, and provide warnings and imposing discipline if necessary. Number two, protection from the heat. The job duties and responsibilities of some employees may require them to spend time working outside. In the summer, hot temperatures can cause employees to develop various heat-related issues, including sunburn, heat stroke, heat exhaustion, and heat cramps and heat rash. An employer should take proper precautions to protect the health and safety of employees as well as comply with the Occupational Safety and Health Act, OSHA. An employer that fails to take the appropriate measures to protect employees from the heat may face OSHA fines and penalties, as well as claims for damages employees suffer while working. It is critical for an employer to educate employees about how to protect themselves from the heat by wearing sunscreen and drinking water. An employer should also provide breaks, set up work sites in the shade, and shut down operations during extreme heat waves. Further, an employer should train all supervisors and managers to recognize the signs and symptoms of heat illness and respond quickly if employees are in distress. Number three, employer-sponsored social events. While summer workplace parties or outings, such as company picnics, barbecues, or baseball games, may encourage workplace camaraderie, boost employee morale, and show appreciation, employers must take steps to decrease the risk of legal, legal liability. To avoid wage and hour claims, an employer should make sure attendance is voluntary, hold events outside of working hours, and avoid discussing work-related matters. Further, an employer should take the proper precautions with respect to alcohol and minimize the risk of any inappropriate behavior or harassment by carefully tracking alcohol intake and having managers and supervisors monitor any unprofessional workplace behavior. The employer should also make sure employees do not drink and drive and consider providing safe transportation home. Further, to reduce the risk of workers' compensation claims, an employer should make sure the outing is in a safe environment. Number four, time off and summer vacations. Summer is often a time when employees take time off to enjoy vacations and special time with loved ones in the beautiful weather. Therefore, an employer should make sure that its policies regarding vacation or paid time off are communicated to all employees and placed in an employee handbook. Further, such policy should be applied in a uniform manner to prevent discrimination claims. An employer may require employees to provide advance notification of time off and schedules so that employer may properly plan with respect to scheduling and coverage. As always, thank you for watching and listening, and don't forget to hit the subscribe button, and you can always email us for more information at support at hr-shield.com or enable our Alexa skill and ask your questions there. Just say, Alexa, enable HR Shield.